45 years ago, the world held its breath as Neil Armstrong became the first American to walk on the moon. The actual anniversary was July 20th, 1969. NASA now has another mission in mind, and new at 5, 10 News reporter Bob Lawrence shows us how Comic-Con in San Diego could help. Special sets and special effects, all part of the annual happening known as Comic-Con, where you can count on seeing sci-fi and space costumes. But for the first time, a real space agency is coming. What I see when I look across the young faces is that next generation set of explorers. Green and former astronaut Buzz Aldrin will be on a panel to talk about the manned exploration of Mars. Their appearance just happens to coincide with explorers from a different generation. It's one small step for man. Words from Neil Armstrong, joined 20 minutes later by Buzz Aldrin on the moon's surface 45 years ago. Gene Harper watched it from Cape Canaveral. When they get down to 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, you, you, you tighten up a little bit. Harper, a longtime volunteer at the Air and Space Museum, came to San Diego in 1959 to work at General Dynamics. GD built the Atlas rocket, which put the original Mercury astronauts into space. Motors they built were tested in Sycamore Canyon, which Navy pilots like Jim Kidrick saw as he was flying into Miramar. If I've said Atlas inbound uh, one time, I've said it a million times because it was the way we came into the break at Miramar. As for Comic-Con and the mission to Mars, Dr. Green has high hopes for those in attendance. One of them might actually be the person, the first person to step foot on Mars. That panel discussion by NASA scheduled for the actual anniversary of Apollo 11 splashdown on Thursday. Bob Lawrence, 10 News, downtown. Big event and aside from Green and Aldrin, the NASA panel will have a current astronaut as well as one of the operators of the Mars rover.